A PSLV C57 is prepared to launch the 1480 kg Aditya L1 spacecraft into Earth-bound orbit, from which it will be placed into a halo orbit around the L1 point in four months. The satellite is intended to study the Sun and how it impacts the helosphere. The Sun which is the center of our solar system and has always fascinated humans is a ball of hot gases formed by the nuclear fusion process. The visible outer surface of the sun is known as the photosphere, followed by the chromosphere and then the corona. After initially dropping through the chromosphere, the sun's temperature abruptly rises in the corona reaching extremely high values of 1 to 3 million Kelvin. The Aditya L1 mission has seven scientific payloads to conduct a comprehensive study of the Sun. The Visible Emission Line Coronograph, VELC, investigates the solar corona and the dynamics of coronal mass ejections. The Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope, Suit payload scans the solar disk in near ultraviolet light and detects fluctuations in solar irradiance. The Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment, Aspects, and Plasma Analyzer Package for Aditya, PAPA payloads investigate the solar wind and energetic ions, as well as their energy distributions. The Solar Low Energy X-ray Spectrometer, Solexis, and the high energy L1 orbiting X ray spectrometer Helios analyze X ray flares from the Sun over a wide energy range. The magnetometer payload is designed to measure the interplanetary magnetic field at the L1 point. Aditya L1 is equipped to take in situ measurements of charged particles and fields at L1 and is dedicated to studying the Sun across several energy bands. The Lagrange point L1 is located around 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth between the Sun and the Earth. These observations are best made from a vantage point that provides a continuous view of the Sun. All payloads are designed in close coordination with ISRO centers and national laboratories like as IIA, IUCAA and PRL. With this mission, ISRO will once again demonstrate its position in space exploration.